Hi, I'm Ziying Wang, and this is my Capstone One final presentation. In this video, I will give you a quick synopsis of my research topic, what my project will look like, and experiment and case studies I've been working on and help me shape the look of my project. My research focuses on how modern-day memory over-externalization tools would heavily influence the construction of contemporary imagination for cyberpunk, and I plan on developing an updated cyberpunk vision in my capstone project. I want to create a scenario in VR where players will work with memory technologies in a cyberpunk setting. I researched my literature resources from two main categories, technology and memory, and cyberpunk as a genre. In the first section, I study how technology and memory relate, especially how digital technologies prevent the natural process of forgetting by archiving everything we do. In the lead, The Virtue of Forgetting in Digital Age by Victor Mayer Schomburger, I learned about the potential consequences of the demise of forgetting. Schomburger's views on how modern technologies become a barrier for people to forget inspired me to ponder the questions, will the demise of forgetting grow into a more severe social situation in the long run? How will the development of future memory externalization tools influence the act of forgetting? In the second section, I look into the cyberpunk as a genre, especially paying attention to how immersive technologies are often associated with memory. In cyberpunk, technologies of simulation are related to the modification of memories. I read William Gibson's Neuromancer, Cyberpunk and Cyberculture, Science Fiction and the Work of William Gibson by Danny Calavaro, and the essay collection Beyond Cyberpunk, New Critical Perspectives. I chose VR as my medium. Following from the cyberpunk imagination, in this genre, memories are often accessible on their own as a simulated environment. It can be manipulated or transferred by using a computer. While VR was not fully developed a few decades ago when the classics of cyberpunk were written, currently available technologies can carry on and update this vision. This also requires updating the subject. In the era of social media and endless digital archiving, we should ask ourselves not only about how to better archive our memories, but also what should we be able to forget. For my project, I will build an interactive VR narrative, where the players are put in a morally challenging situation related to the question of digitally removing or altering real memories. Set in the future, the game centers around a memory architect who encounters an ethical dilemma at work as he attempts to decide what he should do with a dying client's painful memory. In the second half of the semester, I conducted an interview, two experiments, and studied two different games. I was interested in how my peers think about technology and forgetting. I conducted five interviews, asking about how they record their memories and lives, under what circumstances have they deleted these records, and if there is anything to hope to forget. Most interviewees have the habit of taking pictures and posting on social media platforms, and don't regret what they've posted in the past. When asked about whether they would use hypothetically brain implants or memory removal tools, most were unsure about the privacy issues and worried about the bodily safety, but were willing to give it a go if it would become commonly acceptable a regulated thing. This was interesting to learn and made me think about how to construct a narrative in my project that can highlight this attitude. I then drafted a script and presented it to several readers. The story centers around a memory architect. His client is an old lady in an ICU bed at the end of her life requesting him to help her retrieve the memory she had of her son. It is her dying wish to remember her child, who she had mostly forgotten due to a traumatic event. However, when the architect enters her mind through her memory chip, he discovered that her son owed the corporation a large sum of money and was beaten to death by the security. The architect is given a choice, obey the dying woman's wish and return to her the traumatic memory, alter the memory to give her son a good ending, or remove the memory. My readers all thought long and hard before making a decision between the remove and alter options, claiming that there is less negative consequences for deleting or changing the memory. To balance the options better and to be more in line with how human memory works, I made the remove or alter memory options to also affect other memories related to the woman's son. For example, her happy memories with him might also fade if we choose to remove the traumatic memory, given that all memories are interconnected. I experimented with VR stereo environment by inviting several classmates to navigate in the VR sound space I built blindly. Most participants were surprised by the level of immersion sound can facilitate, but they also prefer seeing some visuals added in space as hints. For my project study, I played the game To the Moon, where two doctors dove into the dying man's memory to accomplish his last wish. I learned how the game distinguishes reality from memories purely through blurred edges and color tone. I also studied the hyper-futuristic neon cityscape cyberpunk aesthetic from the game Cyberpunk 2077. This art style inspires me and hinders me at the same time. 
The VR world I am building will most likely be low poly, which isn't the mainstream art form to portray a futuristic society. I will need to make good use of lightings and post-processing to create the cyberpunk style low poly VR experience. And that concludes my final presentation for Capstone 1. Thank you for listening.